Okay, so here are my um, T20 torches. This is the one I use for um, hunting rabbits because this is the only one with the infrared in. This was from Nitec, as was, straight out. Um, came with a standard head on it. Uh, it's now been modified. This is a T20S standard. Okay, 38mm lens. This one's a white light. This one was a direct import from China, about $20, 16 quid. Fairly much the staple of uh, basic IR now, good for air rifle ranges and rimfire. Um, easy to mod. So I've got this one as well, I just use as a stand around the house. Now you want an extra bit of uh, range, simplest and cheapest way is to fit one of these. This is exactly the same torch, no changes to the torch at all. However, it has digital high definition times two telephoto lens. Okay, this is a set of lenses on it, designed to screw on an SLR camera available from eBay. Um, and this is an adapter ring, it's the same thread as this, and it push fits directly over the head. You want to take the head off, push this fit on, push fit this on, put the original lens back in, screw this on, and this gives you a tighter beam as we shall see. So these only cost a few pounds each, probably maximum of ten pounds for the two. Um, probably get them cheaper just depending on where you go. Um, these are well, it's a Panasonic adapter, but I'll try and get the exact numbers up for it. As I say, the next step up is to put this. This is a Yukon times three by forty-two mil lens head that you buy. Um, it's a spare part for one of their night vision stuff. Okay, comes like it's about forty pounds. 40, 50 quid these are, so they're not cheap. They're also quite heavy because there's quite a lot of glass in here. On this one, you remove the lens completely and you don't use it. And the head here has been ground down to here. And then this thread happy, happily screws straight in and fits if you don't cross thread it. It's a plastic thread, so just take a bit of care. This zoom head for this, I screw it all the way out as far as possible. Um, if it's le left in the middle, it's got a bit of slop on it. This just takes it out and stops it. Screw this head off. Screw it on. Try and tighten that up. And then you use the zoom on the head here. Even on full flood beam, it's not a very big beam. Okay, so. This is if you want to reach a long way, I believe they do an even bigger one at times five now. Um, not sure if the threads will fit on here directly, obviously. But that's what I use. Um, ideally matched to my higher power scope, 6 to 24 mag. It easily reaches out 150 yards quite happily. Um, that's with the 940 infrared. As I say, it's a quarter of the light output of the 850s that most people use. So let's have a look at some beam shots just to show you the, the difference um, between the lenses and what they actually do for you. Okay, so this is the T20 as standard from China with whatever bulb they put in, but what we're looking at is the size of the focus beam. You can see the lines on there. Um, that fills up most of between those two top and bottom screw holes. <clears throat> Next up is with a times two telephoto doubler lens fitted. Again, same LED on this as standard from China with whatever they've put in it. As you can see, it's not quite half the uh, width or height 
but definitely a much tighter beam. And the other one back, there's the standard one. And as you can see, with the tighter beam, it definitely overpowers the broader spread of light. So, next one, <coughs> which I'll have to switch over to the um, recording from the Angel Eye because it's actually the my IR one which I use for hunting and my video camera doesn't pick it up hopefully you can see now we've got a much much smaller beam it matches my scope quite well because as you can see this is the um, scan cam so in the earlier video and that square there is roughly the minimum magnification of times six so it doesn't take much to focus it out to fill that up so there we are fully focused now let's see if it will show up right this is the one with the doubler so again you can see it's well over half, under half the height, so a quarter of the area. And bring on the big one. He says. So this one's the standard T20 with a doubler, and this one is the Yukon Times Three lens on it. Again. Um, the IR I've got on this is 940, so the lower end of, this, of the light output. The 850 will put out much more light, but hopefully in the tight beam. Again, I haven't compared this. This is a different, this is going to be maybe slightly different simply because it's a different pill. Um, these two should have whatever the factory setting is, but it's obvious that it does give substantial um, magnification, uh, especially as I say on the, uh, the higher nanometer range to get as much light for me down possible. As I say on the scope, the maximum I need for the scope itself is that size square 